Go to the tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the paintbrush tool. There's the paintbrush tool. Brushes panel, you can find that in the view menu, studio and brushes. And colors likewise. Set the color to whatever you want. And then what you do, just go over here. Right side menu there, and you can see there's an option there for new square brush. It just create it, 64. Now the document is about 1,980 by 1,200 odd. So you want something like maybe a brush size of about, let's just go to general, 1,600. Because it depends on the size of your document. I'm just going for 1,600, something reasonably large. However, I don't want it as a square. You can see the square, that's the brush there, just appears. But what I want to do is also, I want to change the shape. With that, you can actually make it very, very thin lines. You can just make it there, something like that. So you've got a bit of a gap, up to you. You can just tweak it so it's very, very close together. Make sure you set the rotation to zero. Don't change the rotation there. And also, once you've done that, go to dynamics. And you go down here to hue jitter saturation jitter and luminosity jitter and then you can see now you've got this design here all the colors we'll just close it because i'm going to use that i'm just going to go across this and i can just apply it and as you do it, it takes a few seconds to process it's not instantaneous depends on the machine of course but you can apply it multiple times and you can see what happens it creates these lines now of course you can always go back here you know double click again and think you know what i don't want that size Maybe I want it slightly thinner. So what you can do, you can change obviously the size, make it a bit thinner that way, but you can also go for shape again, make it even thinner as well. So just make it very, very tiny, just there. And also you can change the spacing, so you can just make it a bit finer. And again, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be super quick. Just apply it across, and you can see as you apply it, it takes a few seconds to update the screen. And then you can see your design there. Now, of course, what you can also do is you can recolor it. You can always go to layer, new adjustment layer, and you just apply one of these, HSL. So something like HSL, just recolor all the designs if you want to do it that way. Close there. Flatten. Just going to flatten that, merge it all into visible. Now, what you can also do, of course, is you can go and add another layer as well. So you can always go to layer and new layer and just apply it again. So maybe apply it like that. Then you'll notice what happens when you've got that. You just get a very, very narrow band of layer, which of course you can always resize. So you can always turn around and say, let's just resize that design. So make certain you, now make certain you select the right one, go to layers, you got that. You can always of course remove the other ones just to make certain that you're actually using just that design. Because sometimes you can actually end up quite easy actually ended up selecting the wrong ones. So I always find it just as easy, just simply to deselect the others, makes it you can't see them. So there's no chance that you will select those by accident. And of course you can move those around, resize them, etc. You can still continue to squeeze that to create a different variety of different designs. Once you've done that, you can always bring the other ones back again, simply bring them back in again. And you've got your lovely straight line designs like this in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.